الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه وخليله وخيرته من خلقه صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى الآل والصحب الكرام أما بعد فاتقوا الله عباد الله واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam Firstly, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the ability to be conscious of him at all times for indeed Whosoever is conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be saved from the fire of hell. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and our offspring from all evil and at the same time to grant us the acceptance to engage in everything that he that pleases him and that he has ordained. Brothers and sisters in Islam, many of us try to make sure that we do many good deeds. So we would fulfill our salah, our prayers on a daily basis. We would read much Quran and we would engage in much remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Perhaps we would give out a lot of charities and perhaps we would do many other good deeds without realizing that Islam is not only about doing good deeds, but looking after them after having engaged in them. Many people do not realize that it is very easy to do a good deed, but it is more difficult to keep that good deed intact in a way that it can be of benefit to us when we arrive in front of the Almighty on the Day of Judgment. Many people engage in good deeds. No sooner have they done the good deed, they have donated it to others because of actions of their own. To the degree that when they come on the Day of Judgment, the deed is no longer theirs, but it now belongs to someone else given to them in the form of payment, sometimes because of a wrongdoing against that particular person. This is in fact one of the ways that we would lose or spoil the good deeds that we have engaged in. And this is why we have been reminded many times by the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, may peace be upon him and may the blessings be upon all his companions, his entire household and every single one of us. He constantly reminded us to ensure that we need to know the devil's plan. The plan of the devil from the very beginning was to waste our time in existence here in this world. And the devil, Shaitan, Iblis, the accursed, has promised the Almighty from the very beginning that I will wait in ambush for mankind to his left and right, in front of him and behind him, in order to ensure that he is an ungrateful person who will not worship you, but he will worship everything besides you. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted respite to the devil as a test for mankind. And this is why one of the most important things for us as human beings to know is how does the devil come to us? What is his plan? If we don't know the plan of the devil, we will definitely fall into his trap. If I were to tell you that there is a scam on the internet or a scam near your residence or your workplace, whereby people are robbing, stealing, waylaying or harming others, it would be in the best of your interests to know how they are doing this so that you can protect yourself and your family members from being robbed or harmed in any way. So we are foolish not to know the biggest robber and scammer in existence who is the devil. And we are foolish not to know his plan and how he engages in it. Brothers and sisters, sometimes when we talk about association of partnership with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, people feel that this topic is very far from us because how is a Muslim going to associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? without realizing that association of partnership with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the single biggest contributor to the spoiling of your deeds, beloved brothers and sisters. 
the single biggest contributor to the waste of all your deeds or mine would be if we associated a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ascribed a partner with him. And don't think that it is something that will not come to me or to you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us conscious of the fact that there are so many things that are included in the issue of association of partnership with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the reason why it is only correct for us to start with this point is because it is a point that angers the Almighty to the degree that he has promised that if a person dies upon what is known as shirk or association of partnership with Allah, he has no chance. He will not be forgiven by the Almighty. Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrak bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna thalika liman yasha. Allah will not forgive the one who associates partners with him. And obviously this is speaking about a person who dies in that condition without repentance. But Allah says he may forgive whomsoever he wishes besides that in whatever way he wishes. So it is important for us to make sure that we abstain from any form of association of partnership with the Almighty for us to have some sort of hope on the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us paradise through his mercy. And may the Almighty forgive our shortcomings. May He really make us not only from those who are conscious of Him, but from those who are conscious of the plot of the devil at all times. Like a person moving with an expensive stone or an expensive diamond or piece of jewelry or a lot of gold. How would they look around them to ensure that no one has an evil eye intending to usurp that wealth of theirs or that valuable item of theirs. They would look to their left and to their right. Sometimes even innocent people, we will be cautious of them in order for us not to fall prey to someone usurping something wealthy or expensive that we have. And for this reason, it's important for us to know that the religion that we have and the fact that we are worshipping Allah alone, that is indeed much more valuable than anything we can put value to. May the Almighty grant us the ability to protect ourselves to the degree that every single point and every single movement of ours, we are worried, we are concerned. Is this an association of partnership with the Almighty? And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And tells him, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is explaining the seriousness of association of partners with Allah. Many of us, when we think of association of partners, we think of a stone and an idol, perhaps a tree, perhaps a grave, and so on. And we think we will never do that without realizing it goes deeper than that. Inshallah, in a few moments, we will discuss one or two of the aspects that sometimes may be overtaking some of us. May the Almighty protect us. So Allah says to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لَإِنْ أَشْرَكْتَ لَيَحْبَطَنَّ عَمَلُكَ وَلَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ If you are going to associate partners with Allah, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and obviously this was impossible, because the one who brought about the message of Tawheed, the one who brought about the message of the oneness of the Maker, it was impossible for him to have fallen into the same trap. But this verse is a warning, a lesson for us all to show us that no matter how, pi how pious you may think you are and what level of spirituality you may feel you have achieved, do not think that you are a person whom shaitan does not come to to try and spoil your deeds. No, shaitan will come to everyone to try and take their deeds away. So Allah says, if you associated partners with me, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you would spoil all your deeds. They would basically turn over against you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness to the degree that the verse ends saying that لَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ You will be from amongst those who have lost. If you look at Khusran, the term loss, here it would be referring to someone who has done a lot of deeds, but those deeds are of no benefit. Imagine a person who has earned millions and billions and they have not benefited from it because 
something had happened between them and the spending of that particular wealth, sometimes even death. May the Almighty grant us goodness. And this is why we say, brothers and sisters, as much as we would like to earn a healthy living and have a comfortable, luxurious life, remember that is very temporary. Prepare for the day you are going to need the palace to live for eternity. And that palace will not be able to be bought by the real or the dollar, but it will be able to be bought by good deeds and non-association of partnership with the Almighty. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. Allah Almighty is so independent that He says, أَنَا أَغْنَى الشُّرَكَاءِ عَنِ الشِّرْكِ مَنْ عَمِلَ عَمَلًا أَشْرَكَ فِيهِ مَعِيَ غَيْرِ تَرَكْتُهُ وَشِرْكَ I am the most independent from the partners that are associated. When a person associates partners with Allah Almighty, he says, I don't need that partnership. I am totally independent. If someone has associated me, if someone has associated a partner with me in an act of worship, I withdraw and I leave the act of worship for the other partner. Allahu Akbar. That is a powerful hadith. And it is known as Hadith Qudsi, which means Allah Almighty is speaking. He says, the partnership is such that I don't need the profit from here. I am completely independent. Ya nasu antumul fuqara'u ila Allah. Wallahu huwal ghaniyul hamid. O people, indeed you are absolutely dependent on the Almighty. And the Almighty is totally independent of you, completely independent. He is worth all praise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who praise Him, not only with our words, but even with our actions. So brothers and sisters, the Almighty is telling us, if you would like to do a deed and in it, you are doing it for me and for someone else at the same time, I withdraw and I would leave it for that particular person. And this is why on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَوْمَ يُنَادِيهِمْ أَيْنَ شُرَكَائِي And on that day they will be called. Where are those whom you associated as partners with me? And the various verses make it clear that they will not be responded. And those who were associated as partners will actually disassociate themselves from the partnership that was engaged in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.